to show you how to make a DIY rainbow highlighter from home. I've seen a lot of people online doing this and it looks so much fun so I thought I would try it today. So this is the sort of thing I want to try and create which is everyone's seen this by now which is the gorgeous rainbow highlighter so I'm going to try and achieve this from home. So a couple of things that you may need to do this is you need a pan of highlighter that you don't mind ruining for this look. So I'm going to be taking the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. It just looks like this. I don't mind ruining this one because this is only cheap and if it goes wrong I can buy another replacement of this. But this does have a really good pigmentation as well. So you need a highlighter that is really pigmented for this to work otherwise it just won't show up. So I'm using this one today. And then rainbow colours like oranges, yellows, greens, I'm going to be using these ones here. From This one is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. And then I'm going to use the Sleek Original palette for, again, this yellow colour to mix in with the yellow in here. So we have a double strong pigment. The yellow, the pink, and then maybe the blue in here as well. So I'm going to be using these colours for my rainbow effect. You will also need like a little dish, this one is a tea light candle holder just to put some um, alcohol solution in there and I'm also going to be taking some 99% isopropyl alcohol to do this as well. I've also got a round cap so I can like press down the pigment, some tissue, a stainless steel spatula and then a palette as well so I can scrape off any of the products. You may need some cotton buds. A little tiny spoon this one is from the um, chocolate spoons from Cadbury's like they come with the little spoons with them so I've kept this and then just a plate as well to put all of your eyeshadows on you need to make sure you've got the picture on hand so you know exactly what colors were used so the first color in this picture here is pink so I'm going to use the pink one first so the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking this highlighter pan and then scraping out all the products and putting it onto this plate ready so I'm just taking a spatula and I'm just going to scrape out this product onto the plate ready. So the pan has been all emptied out, I'm just going to put that to one side. I'm just going to make sure I crush down this highlighter. And then again, move this plate to one side, out the way. So for the first colour of the rainbow highlighter, I want a shimmery pink. It's probably best to use shimmery eyeshadows rather than matte because the matte ones won't really give that highlighty effect whereas the shimmer particles will pick up more so I'm going to be using this pink here which is like a soft pink so it's the third one in so I'm going to scrape this one out onto my palette ready I'm also going to take this one as well, mix them two together And then you want to crush down these eyeshadows again. Then I'm taking my isopropyl alcohol 99% and I'm going to pour some into this dish. And then I'm going to take that small spoon we had earlier and I'm just going to pick some of that alcohol up and then drop it onto the pink eyeshadow. and then mix it together until it forms a nice smooth paste. So I've just dried the spoon and I'm going back into that highlighter powder we crushed down earlier and I'm going to take a good amount of this and then pour this into that pink eyeshadow we crushed earlier and then again you want to add a bit more alcohol solution and mix together. So I am taking the crushed eyeshadow and I'm going to smooth this down one side and don't worry about the neatness just yet, if it gets on the side of the pan we're going to smooth this and clean it up later. So I'm just going to put this down one side. Just like so and then put that down to one side. Next for me is the colour orange so I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I am taking this second colour down, which is the called Eyelid. So I'm going to take in this one and then scrape it out onto the palette.
So I'm going to mix again this yellow shadow from the Wet n Wild palette and then I'm also going to use a tiny amount of this yellow from the Sleek palette and I'm not going to use any highlighter with this one because this one is already really really shimmery, these two yellows, so I feel like the highlighter will be too too much. green so I'm taking this green right here from the Wet n Wild palette taking this blue shimmery colour from the Sleek palette, so I'm just going to again scrape this out. I'm going in with this purple from this sleek palette again. Once you have mixed all the colours and you put it in the palette, this is what it should look like. So this is my rainbow so far. I know it's not 100% like accurate to the original photo, like the green is a little bit off. But to be honest, I do like these colours and I think these will look beautiful on the cheeks once it's done. And it does have that already an iridescent shine to it, so I think this is going to be amazing. I can't 100% say just yet, but I've got a good vibe about this. The only difference is there's a slight shade difference here between the pink and the orange. I wish I'd add a bit, bit more orange into that colour there, but other than that, I think this is actually really good. You can either use the end of a cap here, which is flat, to push down on the surface, or I found some sponges here with the rounded ones. You could also use something like that. Sponges might be good because they will soak up at the product as well. So any of the extra um, alcohol solution, it will just soak up in the sponge. So I will try the sponge first, see how this goes. So I'm just gonna take the sponge and press down on top like so look at that you can see the pigment on top of this on the sponge how cool is that so i found a blush that is roughly the same size just a little bit bigger on the sides so i'm going to put this inside a clean sock and you want to make sure that you take a clean sock nothing old or anything because you know hygiene and you want to wrap the blush inside some sort of cloth and then you want to push down And then you are left with this really nice pressed pigment, just like that. And then any of this mess on the sides now, we're going to clean up. So taking your little dish again with your alcohol in, I'm going to take some of these little cotton buds, and I'm just going to clean up the sides.
And then once you have done that, this is what your rainbow highlighter should look like. How cool is that? So I can't wait to give this a try. I'm going to leave this to dry overnight and then I'll be able to use it in the morning and show you how it swatches and how it goes on the cheeks. So I'm really, really excited to show you what it looks like. So I will come back again in the morning and show you what it looks like. So it has been 24 hours now and this is completely dried out and the smell of alcohol is completely evaporated. So this is ready to use and swatch. So I'm really, really excited to see how this has turned out. So let's get to it. So first up is to see if I can swatch this with my fingers and then just swipe my finger across, see if this will work. Wow, that's gorgeous. Can you see the shine? Definitely see the iridescent colours. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. That's really, really shiny and iridescent. So I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand. You can definitely see the rainbow effect on the back of my hand. That looks beautiful. The blue and the purple stands out the most for me. So I pick it up some more. Trying to match it on my hand. Again, can you see that? It's so beautiful. So it definitely picks up the rainbow effect. You can see the beautiful colours in that. So I'm going to try this with the brush now and see how much it picks up. This one is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It's called the F30. That's the pigment on the back of the brush just there. And then the back of the hand. definitely got a shine going on. I feel like I can see the colours true to real life in real person. It's not picking up very well on camera but it does have a really nice iridescent sheen to it which I really love that effect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the face now and see how this looks. So I've got my makeup on. The only thing I haven't done is my blush, contour and highlight. I've left my cheeks completely bare so I'm just going to apply the highlighter now and see how it goes. Okay, so I've picked up quite a lot of that product. I feel like you can see it better on the brush here. I want the blue colour to be on the bottom so it acts more like a contour colour. So, wish me luck. So as you can tell, it's gone on really, really strong. Especially the blue and the purple. I feel like that's really, really strong. So I'm taking a buffing rounded top brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to blend this in a bit. I really like it though, it's so different and it's very unique. I've not seen anything like this before. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the other cheek as well now. The blue on the bottom. We'll try and line it up as best as you can. And then just apply. You can definitely see the rainbow colours. But that blue and the purple so vibrant. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. I'm going to go in with a really small brush and I'm just going to apply the lighter colours here just to the top a bit more because I feel like they are less visible than the blue. So I'm going to go in with like the peachy colour first. So I'm going in with the pinky colour first. That's better, it's picking up so much better. I'm applying that right to the top of the cheekbone. Then I'm going in with the orangey tone and popping that underneath. And then I'm going to go in with the yellow. I feel like when you go in individually like this, it has more of a highlight effect rather than just going in with the brush and then paddling it on with the flat top brush I feel like it just picks up the colour and doesn't give the sheen like you do see the tiny bit of shimmer but not as much as this side when you do it individually so I hope you enjoyed my video on how to make this DIY rainbow highlighter I had so much fun doing this and it was just been amazingly fun like I didn't think I'd have as much fun doing this but it's so beautiful. It's something I haven't seen on the market for a very, very long time. 
and I'm pretty sure that it was Bitter Lace Beauty that came up with this concept. So all credit goes towards them. They had an amazing, they had an amazing idea, run with it, and it's been huge ever since. So I definitely think this is a huge hit. I think this will be good for parties, for festivals, for any sort of special occasion, nights out, or anything like that. Uh, for every single day, probably not, it's a bit too much for every day, but I will rock this around the house today because I think this is so beautiful and it just looks like a unicorn on my face. I think it's just so magical looking, I love it. So I hope you enjoyed how to make this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.